And I am with Shelly Lubin, ex porn star. And Jen Messa, ex porn star. Now, um, I saw you roughly probably a year or two ago on MTV True Life where you were trying to quote unquote save one of the girls from um, becoming a porn star because she was up for an award. Now, kind of dive me into what your whole program entails. Yeah, we actually reach out to um, the women and men in the porn industry. We reach out to everybody, including the porn fans. But obviously, we've been there and done that. And we really had some severe consequences. Like, I had herpes. She had herpes. I've had half of my cervix removed. And I had um, HPV, which is human papillomavirus. I'm trying to say that 10 times in a row. Yeah. So we've really suffered some major consequences. And um, that's why we want to reach out to at least educate people so they can make a more informed decision about getting into porn. And and even if they choose to do it, we want them to know we still love them, we still are there for them. Would you say the, I guess, safety precautions have changed over time? Like getting tested, the different uh, uh, prescription medications that they have out there to prevent any of this? It's gotten worse because obviously the porn industry is 20 times itself according to statistics, you know, since, you know, 90, since the internet boom. Mm -hmm. So now, I mean, um, now there's rampant sexual transmitted diseases and I mean, even people like Belladonna porn star are saying 99.9 have herpes, Rocco Sofredi, Dr. Sharon Mitchell, the porn star doctor who does not have a medical degree, so 66% of porn stars have herpes. So, I mean, there's rampant disease. They don't even test for that. There's HPV, there's gonorrhea. Thousands of cases were reported by AIM to Los Angeles Public Health Department for gonorrhea and chlamydia. So I actually talk a lot about this in my book, Truth Behind the Fantasy of Porn, that I just wrote. Where, where can we find this book? Right here and on my website. I will give you a copy. Okay. I'll let you grab them. And I also made it. Look at this, how crazy. You just lucked out today. You are giving me all kinds of freebies. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give you. I just made a, a rap album about porn. Um, Hip-hop artist Ricky B taught me how to rap. Oh, you rap? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to put you in a spot. <laughs> But can you bust um, me a little bit of her freestyle? Um, okay, let me think, because I just did this. Um, about the Avian oh, Awards, about everything. Because I'm addicted to the money while you're addicted to me. I'm hurting, I'm high, confused all the time. I look in my eyes, I want to die. You know? Word. I'm still learning, but I'm pretty darn good. I said, I, that's pretty good. 42-year-old white woman who's next porn star. 42? Last girl I was dating was 43. Really? Older. Well, I was, I, was, I was filming for this MTV show called I'm Dating a Cougar. Oh. Yeah. So we're it, it, TV buddies. It airs. It airs right before Valentine's Day, actually. Oh, my wedding anniversary. I know. Oh, hey now. But I don't know, cause like, I got, I appeared very, very douchey. Um. Yeah. So I'm sure you received a lot of slack from that after it aired. Slack is not the word. Take off the S L A at F U. That's how, a bad. How word. would you deal with someone that is going to be in that position that you once were? Um, you mean, you mean, we, we were that. Um, like, how do you treat the people that think, like, oh, she's a bitch, or I hate her? You know what, I love people, I mean, and they know it. They know it. Um, I've done everything I can to reach out to them more than any other human being or organization, for sure. Pink Cross cares. We're standing up for them in court. I mean, obviously, I, I'm a mother of three kids. You think it's easy just being the Lord as the porn lady or the pink lady? You know, I really care about their lives, and we're making a difference now. The health department's involved. I mean, these people, they don't want to walk around ahead head CDs, and I don't want them to have the same health gotcha. outcomes that I have. So we really love them. If they call me names, I really try and give them love. I am not perfect, but I really loved them. Um, they know it, too. Okay. And if they want to call me, I say, I don't even know if my name is Shelly or bitch. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to put bleep Lubin. Bleep, bleep, bleep. But I still love them, you know, and I hang out with them online, you know. I really okay. love these people. Okay. So I'm just kind of getting a grasp of it because where I might be, so... You can ask me anything. I'm super honest. Okay, great. We'll be in touch, definitely, for sure. And it was great. I mean, I think what you're doing is great. And it's for a good cause, and you're helping people out. Because, yes. I mean, a lot of the porn stars, I would say, from my assumption, that they don't know necessarily what they want to do in their life, and they kind of rely on their good looks, whatnot, because they can make money from it. Is that correct? For a while. For a while. But, very, you know, you're putting... Very short while. Usually. The, I mean, the average lifespan of a porn star is between one and five years. And most girls don't even make it that past that first year. I only did it for a year and a half before I couldn't take it anymore. I was about to commit suicide, so... I mean, there's... I mean, these, they're all confessed drug addicts just about. Not all of them, but 90%. Come on. They, they're all online. I'm just... I'm screenshotting all their own words. It's not just... It's not my words. It's their words. I'm getting from them. 
You know, so I mean, you know, how many people are high here at the convention? You know, yeah. they're doing cocaine, they're getting high on the seats. Marijuana is like cigarettes, you know. And I'm cool, you know, I've helped people who are full on telling me, listen, I want help, but I'm a drug addict. Are you going to work with me? And I go, of course, of course. I've been there. I'm a recovering addict. And um, I mean, how, how, if God loved me this much, I need to show them the same love. And so I really strive to show them the sincerity. Um, they call me all these names, and, and, and I can embarrass them, and so and I don't. Gotcha. And they know it. I all make examples of people who are really lying to hurt other people. But even then, like I told Diane Duke, don't take it personal. I really love you. She's the adult film industry lawyer at what? UCLA. She uh, was representing the producers. I'm like, oh, we represent the majority of women and men in the porn industry who are subjecting okay. themselves to harm every day. Okay. Well, I want to dig a little deeper. I want to know. What kind of revelation did you incur in your life or you needed to know that you needed to stop what you're doing? Herpes was a pretty good indication that I needed to stop. I mean, that scared the hell out of me. There was um, there was no information about herpes, um, and I didn't even know I caught HPV until later on. I mean, so, um, until I got in a bad car accident, and honestly, I hated my life in the sex industry every single day. I hated it. I prayed to God, get me out of here. I didn't understand why a loving God would let me suffer so much um, in the sex industry. I was, you know, and then ultimately after about eight years, he um, rescued me, and here I am, what, 15 years later, and now I understand why God allowed me to suffer so that I could go help millions of people. So I would do it all over again to help these people. I really would. That is a good message to send out to them. Well, so you're meeting all, I mean, I'm assuming you'll probably meet all the young starlets that are just breaking on the scene, just kind of help it before it's it becomes, amazing. yeah. They're like this. Okay, I'm not going to do porn. I had no idea. So I'm glad that we can cause awareness and prevention. And for those who say I'm going to do it anyways, okay, then I'm going to be right. Here. I'm right here, baby. Aww. When it gets down, you know. So you are a sweetheart. Thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm not. I'm really sweet. You guys just need to get to know me. So just talk quiet about me all the time. Okay. Can you? Uh Two drink minimum show dot com. Be there. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. <laughs>